Simple science: the Earth, Sun, and Moon. The Earth, the Sun, and the Moon are all approximately spherical or round in shape. If the Sun was the size of a beach ball, then the Earth would be about the size of a pea, and the Moon would be the size of a bead, one quarter of the size of the pea. The Earth spins around every 24 hours. On an axis running through the north and south poles. During the hours of daylight, the side of the Earth you are on faces the sun, and at night time, the Earth is spun around so that it faces away from the sun, making it dark. This explains why the sun appears to move across the sky during the daytime, and why the length and angle of shadows. Change over the course of a day. When the sun is low in the sky at sunrise and sunset, shadows are long. But at midday, the sun is high in the sky, and shadows are short. It is important to remember that it is the Earth that is moving, and not the sun. The Earth not only spins on its axis once every 24 hours. But also orbits around the sun once a year, or to be more precise, once every 365 and a quarter days. The attractive force of gravity keeps the Earth orbiting the sun, so that it does not float off into space. The Earth's axis is tilted over at an angle as it orbits the sun. In summer, you are tilted towards the sun. And in winter, you are tilted away from the sun. Just as the Earth orbits the sun, the Moon orbits the Earth once every 28 days. Over the same period of time, the Moon also spins once on its axis, so that it is always facing in the same direction towards the Earth. However, the Moon appears to change shape during this period. Because of the way the relative positions of the Earth, Sun, and Moon change, when we can see all of the sunlit side of the Moon, it is a round shape called the full moon. When we can see only part of the sunlit side, it has more or less of a crescent shape we call the half moon. And when we cannot see the sunlit side at all, it is called the new moon.